Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Oh, nice. Okay, hey. what the hell is going on at pre-show? Pre-show, Evan, you're going for a new look. Are you going full Rutherford? Yeah, we've, we've got no. a lot of changes here, Jared. I saw your Instagram, which we'll get to in a second, but I want to hear oh, about, God. I want to hear about Evan's new look. All right. You know, I think I'm going to start forecasting into the future. I think I'm going to go for a uh, Kurt Russell look. That's Damn, what I'm going for. I like that. Like, which, <laughs> yeah. which Kurt Russell look, though? Which Kurt Russell look? Um... I think you can use a couple different movies. Like uh, Escape from L.A.? Bone Tomahawk? I, I like that. Right. I like yeah. Escape from L.A. I mean, he's got an eye patch. I like you Grand got, House. You got to go David hair, Crenshaw though. and Kurt Russell. Right. You got to go feathered hair. If Either you're way, that. that's what I'm saying. I'm growing my hair out. So, I like as it. As you it know starts what? to get more there's gray. There's one of our friends, you know, that really has a liking to Kurt Russell. Strange. Is it, my, is, it, is it my wife? or Because uh, it sounds <laughs> like you're talking about my wife. <laughs> Who looks outstanding Again. in a one-piece swimsuit, by the way. I'll tell she you what. Does. That, she there, does. There is no truer statement that's ever been said. Yeah. Is there a three piece? Is there a three piece swimsuit? And what would that look like? I don't know. I don't know. Dave, is there a three piece swimsuit? It's, it's for your cankles. It's Are you your, sure? It's for your, your, yeah. Not even at Forever Twenty One uh, Korea. Ah, it's what? my favorite. Uh, the, the, I don't know. I, I I had heard you know that you know in, there's not a that, that's not a thing. What you just said. What if it's like one piece for each boob? That's what I was thinking. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a half tank top. No, I'm, I'm no. so bored with this conversation at <laughs> yeah. this point. I just kind of want to turn the corner on it already. No, no, we're reason. not going to peek around the corner. Can, we, can somebody, Dave, can you pull up Jared's Instagram and read today's post out loud, please? Oh, God. You it's don't need so to. It's so terrible. It is not. It's I'll, terrible. It really I'll is. You're in a, so, a button it's gaining, it's, Hey, it's, gaining, it's, it's, it's supposedly it's being received well. All right, here. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to I'm going to read it out loud. It says It's a it's a picture of JT looking like he's about to take a money shot at a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it Listen, says Listen, I'm wearing buttons into the microphone. What does it say, Dan? It says 20 days without a drop of liquor, cutting weight, mental clarity at an all-time high and productivity through the roof. You haven't done shit in 2 weeks. What I are you know. talking about? I mean, I polished that trophy. <laughs> yeah. God, the trophy's clean. clean. Damn it, dude. The trophy's clean. No. Why are you in a button-down shirt too in that picture? Why not? I mean, when, when did you when did you switch to button downs? I've, that I, was a size yeah. large too. I might. It was after you. I made fun of him for two weeks straight for not owning any shirts that have buttons. Yeah, on. because I was at dinner the other day, and when Dan walked in to find us, he asked the hostess, "I'm looking for two girls and a homeless guy." And she knew, and she pointed yeah, right at our table. That's right. Yeah. 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 Wow. So I felt no. I felt I needed some life changes. Who was the girl, by the way? Uh, it was uh, Bro Jack. Yeah, it's Jack- Jacqueline Carrizosa yeah. and Alyssa Quinn. Oh, Bro nice. Jack. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. We were going to get Bro Jack on the uh, show yesterday, but time. She was 19 yeah, hours late. late. Yeah. yeah. On, on yeah, Valentine's you know, Day. Yeah. What was she working out or? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the ladies, we have the ultimate ladies man in the history of ladies men. Well, I don't know if I would categorize it that way. On the internet. It's closer, more like the guy with the most the fucked internet. up stories Move it to you. from the internet I've ever heard. Yes. Uh, Ross, you, I, I don't know. Have you met Ross? I have. Okay, you've met him. You've met him, Ross. His yeah, I, I, I know Justin. It's weird when I see you in person. You don't look like the type of guy that slays pussy. I mean, I'm a catfish, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. He tells girls, a self-proclaimed yeah. catfish. You, know that, you tell women on Tinder that you identify as five foot six. Right? Yeah, one hundred. I'm yeah. like five five and three quarters when nice. I stand up and I stretch my neck out all the way. So I show can up you and stretch like, a neck? Yeah. They're always yeah. like, "You're not five six. I'm he, like, yeah, "I am." When I do this, he does. Like, he does yoga, bro. Late. Yeah. So <laughs> how many how many girls have you laid your dick inside of on ten, on Tinder? Man, come on. <laughs> what is this grade school? I don't. I don't keep count. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> do you have an abacus for him? Yeah, let's ballpark it. Like everybody's got a ballpark number. What what is it? Three <sighs> hundred. No, definitely. I mean, dude, I honestly, I cannot give you that number. It's been... Uh, it's over 100, though, right? You're, you're in it's triple It's been ditch. like 10 years now of that. Sh- it's been like three years. No, mm-hmm. come on. And I've got okay. some stories. I've got some fun times, which I'm like, that was great. I've got people that tried to date me. I've had catfishes. I've had yeah. Uh, yeah. people that brought out the uh, crazy sexual side. Well, sometime recently, a woman had a newborn and oh, started yeah. breastfeeding it in front of yeah. you. Want to tell that story? Yeah, yeah, please. Get Wait, into what? Yeah. Go, full, go full Justin, please. Yeah. All right. I, don't, I, I haven't heard it yet. Come on. All right. So uh, 
Dan invites me out and he says, hey man, do you want to come and get a beer? And I said, yeah, real quick. I got to finish up this Tinder date. I'm watching some chick breastfeed her child. Right. And he's like, LOL, ha ha, cruise by when you're done. So I'm like, all right. And I pretend that I'm texting and I did not take a picture of her breast or the minor, but I did get a picture of a child, you know, sucking the titty. And I sent it to him and he thought I was joking. So he puts laughing, crying faces. And this girl is hot. She told me, by the way, I have a child. So cool. I go over, child's crying. Oh shit, it's a newborn. She goes off on the man of, you know, the child, talks a bunch of shit about him, and then goes to get her baby. And she's like, I hope you don't mind. And I'm talking, everything's cool. And then just within minutes of meeting her, just pops her titty out. Boom. And I get it. It's natural, but I'm yeah. on a first date, dude. Yeah. Like, first impression, you are breastfeeding your child. A newborn. Yes. A, a newborn. newborn. Like, nah, like. If, you if you're about to go on a date with somebody, you say, oh, I've got a kid. Say it's a newborn also, because yes, yes. that Please changes. Yeah. If it's like a three-year-old, yeah. you could lock him in the closet or whatever yeah. J JT does. Or <laughs> yeah. So, man, it was, it was, that. I didn't know what to do. It was kind of awkward. I don't care because it's natural, right, is one side of me. But the other side, I make this weird face at her. And she goes, what? And I go, I mean, I'm kind of jealous. And she goes, of what? And I just shrug my shoulders, <laughs> right? And she, like, you guys are laughing. I thought it was funny. In my head, it was funny. Yeah. She had a straight face as she had a child sucking her titty and just gave me this look like, no, how could you joke about that? And that's, and I had already ordered pizza, so I didn't want to waste my money. So you needed that pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So because I you, waited. Not, at this yeah. point, you know, you're not going to get any breast milk. Yeah. Did, I you, mean, yeah, did she let you suck upset. on her tit? Yes or no? No. She, I, we didn't do anything. I was, I was actually like, I was there. She at this still point had it, stitches, Justin. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> you know, at least, you know, she puts out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should see the horrified look on Evan's oh, face. Oh right yeah, now. Ross, you're missing this. She's right all now. stitched up. Mm -hmm. Evan likes pregnant women, so I, I mean, look, <laughs> if Evan would have caught her, you know, third trimester, second trimester, this story might have gone a different way for Evan right now. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I went through that phase. Yeah. I'm not going to deny it. What was the cutoff? Yeah, like, what is the cutoff? Yeah, what's, labor, what's your term it? limit? What's your cutoff? <laughs> term it all limit. depends. It's it crowning. All depends. Right, right as they Get crown. that baby back in there. Which is a funny story because the last time my wife was in labor with Rowan, uh, we had the midwife that was there. She was going into labor, and I was asking my wife, I was like, hey, is this an inappropriate time for anal, or is this <laughs> like are you busy? Are you? Uh, are I you mean, tied up with something. You, you already are having pain somewhere else, so you're I, not, yeah. you're sure as hell not gonna you know be worried about Ooh, this. Because if it is, like all you're doing is just kind of whining Ooh. and stuff. I'm yeah. gonna be over here. <laughs> playing I got hard a ton to get of emails to go back. <laughs> but, playing, playing hard to get, having a baby. And shit, you know. <laughs> like, playing hard to get, girl. Yeah. Filing restraining orders, Don't going be. to the cops and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Witness protection programs. Like, come on, having children. Like, come on. Oh Wait, are we going to bang or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they have they have all these like swing things, you know, for yeah. different positions yeah, yeah. and balls and all this crazy shit. And I'm like, this would be a great scenario. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, they got everything here. They've got a bathtub. They got like swing things. Yeah, let's um, let's we. I think we have enough uh, influence as a media company at this point to start a rumor that anal helps induce labor. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah I think yeah. we could increase anal in the delivery room yeah. by thousands of percent. It would, be, <laughs> it would be in a very specific market segment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A very specific Did market segment. Did you imagine segment. the fucking amount of people getting kicked yeah. out of and fucking there's like, hospitals? There's like news stories. Eight people kicked out of hospitals this week. <laughs> for for all, doing anal in the delivery room. All I'm saying is that a threesome does increase the chances of labor. I've heard that actually. Heard that. That's That's true. True. Yeah. That was a, a Greek thing, yeah, it yeah. definitely was. Yeah, oh, well, if it's a Greek it's, thing, it would be two dudes, though. That's the problem. Oh, right? yeah. Let's, let's I, find yeah. another origin. I had for a it. three, somebody wasn't the good kind. What, what does that mean? mean? We, no, we were all dudes, so it kind of sucked. <laughs> 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 Have you ever gotten a threesome off a of Tinder where you roll over to the house and there's just two, two of them there? No, but I did have a girl that had like a fetish with like gangbangs and stuff. So, you know, it started, we would kind of watch porn and like whatever, and she was really into it. and 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 uh, first time we had sex, man, she starts bringing out my dark side, like, "Hey, spit on me," and I'm like, T -t -t -t, you know, whatever. And by the time you know it, I'm full on like, "You like that, you fucking whore?" And she's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, and then I just I don't know what came over me, right? I just become full blown Justin. I'm like, "How many guys from the internet have you fucked, huh? You fucking whore?" And she's like, "You really want to know? You really want to know?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." She's like, "So many." 
I'm like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. She's like, want to know more? Want to know more? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, I went to Vegas last weekend and I fucked two guys at the same time. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, want to know more? And I'm like, well, it's like a train wreck. Like, you can't stop watching. It. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, one of them was fucking me in the ass and I was sucking the other one's cock. There was slobber everywhere. And I'm like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> and that's when I nutted. And as soon as I nutted, I thought to myself, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Oh, and we banged for like another year and a half. We would bang. Yeah. 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 And we kept, yeah. And we kept banging. Damn, dude. 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 I, I, saw, I came from California where I had two roommates and we were banging Jesus. one time and she's like, you want to fucking come on the floor and watch and blah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm just mm. whatever. Dirty sex talk. What? And then, what? then out of nowhere, she looks at me and she's like, get your roommates. Get your roommate. And I'm like, no, no. Like I live with them. This is weird. Like. So, great time, dude. I miss her. Actually, I her. <laughs> why did she ask you to come on the floor, though? What, what no, was the she said that she wanted. She, no, not just me. She wanted a bunch of men to come all over her, and it drips with the floor. And she said she wanted me to mop her with her hair on the floor <laughs> as I'm inside of her and you guys are laughing I definitely wasn't like you're so funny I was like yeah you want me to mop the floor with your hair You and then I, <laughs> and I nut and as soon as I nut I'm like fuck like, <laughs> like um, what do you want to do later like how do you bounce back from that man let me ask you this oh, like, so can you... I take you to a ballet yeah. Yeah. yeah dude and then the next girl that I was having sex with life. The next girl I kind of dated, I was like having sex with her and I was, you know, trying to be rough. I gave her a little slap and she just stopped and she looked at me. She's like, hey, why are you slapping me? <laughs> and that point I realized oh, I need to quit shit. banging girls from the Internet. <laughs> but it and, didn't stop But you. I definitely didn't fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you so. think you have any like PTSD from these experiences at all? Because that one sounded pretty bad. I mean, yeah. In, in terms of like I'm never probably going to get that again. And I'm terrified of that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, wow. I'm sure it exists, Justin. It yeah. exists. I feel yeah. like you could f probably find this person and still do whatever you want to them if you yeah. really wanted. To do that. <sighs> yeah, my stepdad's a good dude, so I'm sure I can work that out. <laughs> how how old are you? Can I can I ask how old you are, Justin? I am 32. For uh, you know, I'm about to be 33. All right, so you still get a, a, like maybe two two or three years where this is still cute. After that. It's going to be oh, a downhill Oh, it's definitely run. never been cute. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I... It's I, definitely I, trash, dude. The internet's trash. I mean, fucking I'm on there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, but I'm in a phase. I'm honest to God. Like, I know I've got a ton of stories. I legitimately, as of late, I'm like, fuck this, dude. Like, so after so many times of being catfish and so many times girls like, call me a fucking dirty whore. You know, like, after a while, you're like... So this is a regular thing. It's a fucking... I mean, it that's, was. That's normal? It was. What's the worst catfish normal. you've ever had? Man, uh, I'd say not to be a dick. If women are fat, they're fat, you know. But, uh, man, this girl was like at least 40, 50 pounds. You got a word overweight. for that, Evan, don't you? It's not catfish. It's, uh, what was it? Something else. I don't know. What what ba to. Baker got, he, he was like, I got catfish. I'm like, well, she was the person she said she was. She was as fat as fuck. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what did you call it? Tilapia? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> yeah, it was Carp still, it was carp, still, carp, yeah. carp, yeah. carp fish. How, how yeah, big but, was this bruiser that you're describing? Dude, I mean, bro, in her pics, it was hot. This is a learning lesson. Everything in life, every loss can be counted as a learning lesson, right? So at that point, holy shit, she's really fucking pretty. All of her shots are from like midway breast point and up. I'm like, you are so hot. So whatever. Meet up with her. I'm in Long Beach looking around, looking around. This girl is really staring at me. I keep swiveling. Oh, this girl yeah. kind of looks like her. And then, holy fuck that's her right she's like hey and so whatever dude she asked me why I was, this one was bumble why are you on bumble and i'm like i can't give you an honest answer and she says well what do you mean well i'm not looking for my like future ex-wife on here and she goes oh she laughs stops laughing laughs again says excuse me goes to the restroom come back makeup is all fucked up she's crying i thought she got a phone call did your dog die like did you know did your grandpa run away or I, I said that backwards but anyway whatever dude uh, she's fucking crying, and she looks at me dead serious and says, it's just so hard to meet someone. Oh, and I'm like, fuck. So I look around man. the bar. I'm in Long Beach by oh, Cal State Long dear. Beach. Gross. Tons of hot chicks. 
hot chicks everywhere looking at me like, look at this fucking asshole making this catfish cry, right? <laughs> and they don't know that, right? So I'm just looking around like, no, it's not me. I swear I would never like hang out with her in real life. Right? <laughs> but, but like, I look like a fucking asshole, dude. And she's crying. And I, I was raised by my mom. So like, I'm not a dick. I don't completely bail. Also, I love telling stories. So I like stay for the story. And, um, you know, some time passes. And then we're watching a football team or a football game and her team gets scored on. Right. Don't remember what game we were watching. And then I said as a joke, are you going to cry again? And she goes, <laughs> and like her eyes water up and she's like, I'm sorry. And she starts crying. Oh my God. And I'm like, holy fuck, mentally unstable. I get it. No wonder you're on the internet. Also, what the fuck am I doing there? Right. What does that say about me? And uh, man, I stayed for a little bit longer. I'm like, no, I really got to go. I was in college. Uh, I got to go finish this homework. And then she hugs me and she goes, I would leave too. It's, wait, are you hungry? I haven't eaten in 24 hours. And in my head, I'm like, holy fuck, woman. Like, there's, there's obviously, like, some other issues. But that's the internet. That's what you get, right. you know? It's, you're never going to get, like, wow. I fucking, you are so perfect. Why are you on Bumble? Like, I don't know. I'm just so fucking perfect. And I figured I was going to wait and, you know, not give my vagina. Like, wow, you're this... You know, it doesn't work that way. Dude. But there has to have been one, though, right, <laughs> Justin? There's got to be one out of these where you were like, holy shit, I might be able to date this girl. And, you know, she does anal. Um, You guys are going to laugh randomly. The one thing that popped into my head is I was visiting at home for the holidays. I heard in the other room my sister laughing. I checked my phone. I got a notification. I get a super like from my sister. And I'm like, oh, my God, my sister super liked me. <laughs> Fucking with me. We're all dark, right? I swipe right, and then it says, congratulations, you have match. And I hear in the other room, like two rooms down, screaming laughter, dude. And my sister comes up, and we're cracking up. Let, like, me, let me ask you a question. Whoa. Yes. Hold on, hold on, though. The question was. <laughs> yeah, there it is. The question <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. was. Anal, anal, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, have no, you no. ever found somebody that you would love to my date? Sis- my sister's perfect in my mind, minus like the <laughs> anal and like dating part. Like What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway. it got weird. Anyway, this Wait, just took a sister? weird I'm turn. Sorry, I'm going to back this truck up. <laughs> Where's Ross at on this? You Where's Ross at? You yeah. cool you, your sister is perfect? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Have you ever fucked your sister, your sister, yes or no? Yeah. What's that? Have you ever Did fucked you... your sister? No, definitely not. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Not that I, re- not that I recall. I did not inhale. <laughs> <laughs> How old is your sister? <laughs> um, 14. <laughs> no, no, she's she's uh, she's almost twenty two. She's uh, she's almost twenty two. Jesus yeah. Christ, man! If you're oh, if you're boy. thinking about your almost twenty two sister like this, mm-hmm. the no, rest yeah. of the I'm, internet I'm just is fucking around, man. Is <laughs> uh, but in terms of like, have I met a, a good girl? I did meet one, and uh, we were having sex. The first time we had sex, it was perfect. She made me wait two weeks, and right before we wow. had sex. Right, were, but were you were you uh, hanging out with other people in that two weeks when she wasn't right. putting out? Yes, is yes, the answer. His yes, face. Yes, <laughs> yes. There we go. There we go. His yeah. face yeah. said yes. But, um, okay, go on. So right, right, right before we have sex, I just smell fecal matter, and she had a cat, and the cat just took a shit, and she's like, "Oh no!" So that kind of turned me off. So whatever, we end up hooking up, and then uh, we we dated for a little bit, but then I'm you know I would grab her face like kind of cute, and she would look at me and say, "Hey." You need to be more romantic, and I'm like, dude, I fucking met you on Tinder, <laughs> you know, like, like I don't, I don't get it, like, where's the like, I don't know. So, and it so, just didn't last, man. She was like a really good girl, and I'm, you know, at the time was a trash human. You're still a trash. I'm time, definitely not. At the I'm time, you're normal. still a trash you human. Remind me of the raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely more attractive though. What's so. his no. name? Rocket. Yeah. Rocket, yeah. That's his new And you're thing. dirtier, too. <laughs> I mean, dirty's a, you know, subjective term, so. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely. When yeah. comparing to other things. When comparing to you. Like, if it's two dirty people, one yeah. of them may be dirtier. I don't know. But mm, you're yeah. garbage, and you're yeah. also garbage. It's yeah. fine. Just be who you are, dude. Stop yeah. trying to change. Yeah, yeah, do you hope to get married, or what, what, what's you your what? story? Fuck, fuck everyone. I identify as not being a garbage human, so boom. That no, you just face. escaped it. Yeah, fuck you. I did. You okay. have to accept it. I mean, it. according to U.S. law, yeah. that's not U.S. law. Hashtag it's... me too, please. <clears throat> fuck you. So, <laughs> that's just uh, that. me too, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, why not? Oh, oh dear. Fuck, fuck me. me. Uh, hey, we got some breaking news, by the way. Colin Kaepernick is settled with the NFL. This motherfucker, I knew it, dude. He got sixty to eighty million dollars. What? Holy shit! Jesus what? Christ. what did he get for the Nike campaign? 
Because that had to be at least 10. Uh, yeah, I think you got 10 for that. But um, there, there's this AF, a, AAF that you guys know. It's, there's one in San Antonio. You guys are going to tailgate there, yep. right? I believe, Jared? Yeah. Yep. 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 So they asked him uh, two days ago if he would join the league. You know, Finally, somebody was going to ask him to play and start in the league. He said he wanted $20 million. The average salary is seventy five grand there for fucking oh, wow. for those guys. He wanted $20 million. They told him to go fuck himself. Then today, right now, this is breaking right now. He got between sixty and eighty million dollars in a secret Jesus settlement Christ, that he's not dude. allowed to talk about. <clears throat> this whole nice. fucking shit was all about the money all the way along. We had called this a year ago in drinking bros. I mean, fucking yeah, he doesn't a, have man. to work now. He doesn't even have to play. He can just hang nope. out. Doesn't yeah, and then and dude, the other one is the Jesse Smollett guys. They got those guys, the MAGA supporter the, the MAGA yeah. supporters. Did you see that? I didn't see it. What happened? Like, like it's full blown, like blown out, right, Ross? I mean, ABC reported it. Uh, it was hold a, on. Two guys, guys are in custody. Guys Dave, pull up the two guys. It's on TMZ. You can see what they look like. Evan, I want your first reaction of MAGA supporters. If you could uh, just pull up their picture. What, what's the Go to TMZ. Uh, type in Jesse Smollett. Or just, just type in TMZ. Go down to the yeah. second article and you're good to go. I mean, this is this was so oh boy. They're they're definitely not white MAGA supporters. Yeah, there it is, Jesse Cops Smollett. So what's the story? Their here? Former Empire <clears throat> extra. The These, this stars? is the guy, the, the the star from Empire that you he, know he claims that hoax up that a bunch of Trump supporters oh, beat him up and put a noose around his neck. Oh yeah. yeah so the and hot then, the hot yeah. twins who were on our show um, and who were hilarious by the way. Everybody loves yeah the hot twins. Funny. They love that episode. It, it destroyed. They made a video right after this happened that went viral, and they were the first ones to call it on the internet. Uh, less than uh, an hour later, they said this story's made up. There is no white supporters of trump in sh- in liberal ass chicago it's 20 right. below and there's no way anybody <laughs> was fucking walking around the streets of of chicago with a noose in their hand and bleach um no man so these these two guys are are nigerian they were extras on the show and they're also friends with him so where this is gonna so, go So yeah did, did, did he like pay them to do this or something is that what happened well here? supposedly ross it said that he found out that he was getting written off the show <laughs> so they think that is the motive behind him staging this oh wow okay yeah so he was doing kind of a pr stunt like he, like hey yeah if, yeah uh, if so he i got gain, caught. yeah he got caught and now oh. but but the thing was is when it happened of course no news outlet did any form of waiting or research and reported that MAGA Trump guys were pouring bleach on a dude. And, yeah, kind of like the kid yeah. who was standing in front of the that uh, Native American guy. Yeah, that you know, it's, it's so funny, man. I, I think I've, I've thought a lot about this over the last several weeks. It, one, I think you, you, there there is this identification that we have to just say does does russia and i know this is like conspiracy theory Mm -hmm. pseudo but it's also Mm -hmm. confirmed you know they have literally went to work with an information operations campaign campaign against the united states trying to segment different portions of our society and then pit them against each Mm -hmm. other via social media Mm -hmm. it is it is it is a fact it's not something that's it's not it, it is not a conspiracy this is a fact and, you know, by national estimates, there are no more than 12,000 confirmed white supremacists in the United States. That's it. 12,000. It's it. like the mafia. Like, everybody thinks it's so pervasive. <clears throat> right. At the height of the mafia, there were 5,000 made you, guys. And, and let me just, like, make one clarifying point. Like, if you're a white supremacist, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. Like, a full-blown yeah. fucking moron. Yeah, and, I mean, if, yeah, have you ever seen some of the, like the documentaries on these people they're, they're, they're fucking crazy they're they're crazy they're they're but this hyperbole around the fact that there's this massive white supremacist organization that encompasses the alt right and then you know Trump is tied to these guys and there's this massive conspiracy theorist like this is just total BS. But people are buying it. No they they buy it because yeah. of the news cycle and people have to drive clicks they have to drive clicks to their websites in order to create revenue. This is what this fucking whole thing is about, yeah. where everything has to be exploited, right? The, yeah. the, the, the taglines, they don't care whether or not they're fact, 
they're, the, the information they're putting out is factual. They don't care. They're just going for a headline that's going to get a click that will push some eyeballs, push some pixels, and maybe your your CPMs will go up and you'll create more revenue. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Yeah. And on the outside, you have master uh, propaganda artists that, that are manipulating yeah, that subgroups. that have done this for... A hundred years. Uh, well, post Bolshevik Revolution, yeah, these guys are easy. the international experts at propaganda. Yep. There is zero doubt they are not our friends, and they are using social media in order to manipulate the American population to get them to buy into this false narrative and that we all fucking hate each, each other. other. Yeah, and yeah. it's not. It's just not. It's true. funny. Like this, uh, our organizations are a good, a good version of that. So people think. I actually, my my stepsister. And one of her friends FaceTimed me the other day and was like, oh, we thought you guys were all like crazy, like super right conservative. I'm like, dude, we have gay people and fucking black and brown people working here. We don't give a shit about any of that. You, you know, we Who do. Fucking cares? We, we do. And that's why I say I do discriminate. I do. I discriminate against Idiots. lazy Idiots. morons. Yeah, yeah fuck and that. Lazy, non, it, you know. If you want to run a successful business, regardless of what country you come from or mm. county or any of those things, you're looking for the best people for the job, period. Because you're trying to run a profitable business. And yeah. if you're sacrificing profit so you can put one certain segment of your population into your business, whether they're black, white, brown, homosexual heterosexual what you're doing is you're sacrificing profitability which goes directly mm-hmm. against <clears throat> business yes it's it is ridiculous now does it happen yes but does it happen to the degree that the media would make us think that it happens no, no. absolutely could, fucking we, not all these businesses would be falling apart they if that would was be. the case yeah like yeah, there would be evidence of it, it plays in though to this this culture that social media has created Right. And and you have a wide majority of the population that wants to stir the pot just because it gives them attention. And in that, they read one article on something and half the time don't even read the article. They read the headline. Yeah, people right. they share the headline. They don't mm-hmm. even look at the source of where it's coming no. from because Half the time it's coming from a fucking blog site or yeah. news organization that you've never heard of. Never. With a headline that says something, you know, like mega people put nooses around guys' necks and drag them Now, we should the change fucking, the motto yeah. of the country from e pluris unum to C, question mark, because right. that's what, that's people research only to the point where they confirm yeah. their own bias and they move along. Yeah. They move like, along. Like, fuck this. Well, and Got it all figured out, buddy. Everything's coming at them in uh, 120 characters, right? Yeah, so that's information's it. being just, head. Yeah. And they don't even characters. read the articles that they share no. themselves. And they, and and two, the news I believe has caught on to the fact that people have short term memories. Yeah. So they're like, well, they're gonna forget about it. We need to get the traffic now. Twenty four yeah. hours, we can come out with a little blurb that says, "Oops, oh, whoops." But that's not what they. That's not what's actually. Happening. I actually, they I actually care. think they're fucking up. They they could make just as much uh, <clears throat> click traffic and revenue off the explanation of why they were wrong that they could from being wrong in the first place. Like how, I, m- how many people would redirect to that article about how we fucked up? Like right. everybody would be re- reposting that shit. But I, I think that's why, well, one of the reasons I think the podcasts are becoming more attractive to people is they're not controlled. They're not controlled. Mm-hmm. You can dive into a specific issue. You can listen to a specific personality for an extended period of mm-hmm. time while you're doing something else. I, I really think that it's directly contributing to the success of podcasts because it's, it's a new form of media that, you you can build a relationship with the people that are on the other end. You kind of get to know their personalities. I don't I don't know. I, I could be completely off base. But no, you're ac- you're actually a hundred percent correct because a lot of the advertisers who have hit us up are now going after micro influencers. Do you know what that right. is? Um, yeah. Where they're looking for people with smaller groups that are super super loyal. Um, right. Because yes, you're right. They they feel like they know you. They feel like they're hanging out with you. They know your personality, and it's it's almost in a way a friend that you don't have. And that's what a lot of people say about this show is like, hey, man, I, I feel like I'm hanging out with with guys that are like me that could be my friends in real life, which which is true. I, I completely agree. I agree with that 100 percent, because the other piece is, is you actually do get to know that person. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, how many hours have, have we recorded in the studio? 380 plus. Okay, right. So Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of times when we meet people that are that have been listeners of the show forever. They're like, I feel like I know you. But, well, I mean, really, but, but, they yeah, know everything they about do. us. But that's the thing is, how many hours, and that was the point I was trying to make, was how many hours have you spent talking to one of your friends in not the last three years? Yeah. Not that many. Listening yeah, to them close. talk. Yeah, yeah, definitely not that many. And you're listening to our date. Well, it's like sometimes I get confused too when somebody walks up to me that I don't know and is talking about something that happened to me three days prior. Right. I'm like, wait, how do you know this? How do you and know then that? I'm like, oh, yeah. Right. I do that show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I was telling you guys, I was, at the, um, I was at the playground with my daughters a while back and uh, somebody came up to me and they're like, hey, are you Evan? And I was like, yeah, 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 I'm Evan. How's it going? And they're like, I've never actually seen you. I've only listened to you, but I, I could, I recognize your voice. I was talking to my, wow, my that's, kids. That's weird. And uh, yeah, it was super weird. They were, they, were, they were totally cool. Yeah, yeah. The grocery they were, store. Yeah, they were totally like, cool. They heard my voice and then peeked around. They were like, I heard your voice. Yeah. <laughs> I heard your voice. <laughs> you were screaming like vodka, <laughs> yes. like sex in my butt, and yeah, a bunch yeah, of other no, stuff. No, like, Jared, that's JT. I know that song. guy. No, wait. You tried to buy a giant cheese wheel from the fucking grocery store the other day. I did. It was big. It was this big. And they wanted $140 for it. What are you going to use it for? Yeah, what are you going to use eat that it? for? You can't just eat a, a wheel of cheese. You Why not? Fuck what what you about can? Instagram posts, dude? You, what are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> that's that's another, I said I'm cutting <laughs> liquor, not cheese. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I mean, yeah, that's true. You know what would be great for you? What? A cheese car. Some type of cheese vehicle. Where, where you, you could, could eat put it? the wheels on the car and then just stop <laughs> yeah, but and I eat. don't want dirty you know? cheese. No, it's I, I don't think in that's what? true at all. It's I don't think in, that's true. It's you think I want dirty cheese? I think that's a false statement. I think you want cheese regardless of whether or not it's clean or dirty. You just I think that you'll wash it off outside, or yeah. cut He's it right. off. Yeah. He's right. If I yeah. had one of those little scrapers, I could get to the good cheese yeah, on the you, middle. Yeah, yeah exactly. you need some dirty cheese in a second. How long you plan on going alcohol free, by the way? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm I'm liking this, so I'm gonna keep it going. I think it's badass, man. When people, do I'm that. sleeping so much better. Yeah. That's the big difference. The sleep. Yeah, it, that's. Are you doing weed at all? No. So you're are you, 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 cut, you are you doing weed? Turkey. Are you a cop? Are you Ross? using again? I, I don't, are you fucking I mean, using? <laughs> like, yeah, man. Yeah. Are you fucking using? <laughs> Tell me you're fucking Something using right now. Marijuana. It's the state of Texas. It's illegal here. So, so no uh, mushrooms. So no nothing. Any, not I highly doubt anybody in the company does. I did like get my concealed carry anything. permit in eleven days after moving here. Well, that's pretty cool. Wow. Pretty badass. Yeah. Texas, yeah. Texas. It's better better than California yeah. here. Never <laughs> yeah, had, Jesus. Never had one in California. And so, I, 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 I do. I, I, I know you know about this, but yeah, oh, man, I'll give you the cliff notes of it. My buddy that was a very highly decorated war veteran yeah. that, that that worked alongside Green Berets. Uh, and went to USC, graduated magna cum laude, like was a was was one of the leaders in the in the veterans affairs program at UFC. Had had received numerous amounts of awards. Was coming home one night and parked in his parking garage. He lived in Koreatown, and as his girlfriend gets out of the passenger side, a 19 year old uh, Korean gangbanger stabs her like six to nine times. Wow! In the stomach for initiation. And he pulls a pulls his concealed Glock and smokes him. And the the DA was concerned with he he didn't have a California concealed right, and he had a mag that had more yes. more rounds in it than it needed to be. Not the fact that a gangbanger just attacked and almost killed this fucking woman. It was why'd you have that gun? Well, I mean, I think the <laughs> the real culprit here is Harvard for not letting him in. I think that's, <laughs> that's probably the real, <laughs> hey, shoot, you know, man. they say this is a victimless crime, but as we've seen, if we don't let Asians into Harvard, they're going to be stabbing people in the streets. That's the, <laughs> that's the lesson here. Right? There it is. Right? There uh, it is. And, there and is. an even bigger asshole move on the state of California's part. They release his name. Oh, so yeah. the gang knew that he was the one that, that killed, and he had to move. He had to fucking leave. Hey, at this point. I find it just hard to believe that California wants anybody to live there anymore. Yeah. They just is like, yeah. you know what? Hey, We're man. just giving up on yeah. on people wanting to live in this state. And then <laughs> maybe we could just start sending airplanes from Texas to California, picking people up to ship them back out here where there's like a reasonable state that wants people to be here that, hey, you can carry a concealed firearm with more than... 
you to know protect yourself well yeah exactly <laughs> it just seems like there shouldn't be a oh a, you know what's a really be a hard recruiting campaign you know what we need to, to bring do. people out of california yeah. we need to hold a press conference we need to release his name because he killed a guy that was going through a gang initiation i, I have a hey, uh, he prevented future gang violence right there that's right <laughs> I, I have yeah. a friend who's a, a cop san diego or was a cop and same thing he was involved in a shooting and for whatever reason it was a a legit shooting right and he killed the guy and they released his name so they put him on uh leave for a bit yeah. and eventually oh he quit God, you know dude. he had to move his family he was getting uh phone calls threats and that dude that's ridiculous why would you release his name but what do you San think Diego. there's any chance that california is being run by animals who are trying to get people to leave could be <laughs> could be there, hey, there's, there's, there's a, a giant rat of problem really there now yeah. Really sophisticated squirrels that are like, just yeah. Do you remember, uh, like a rap problem, yeah. like a West Coast rap problem? Is that what you said? Uh, R R A T. So they're they're trying oh, to wow. remove most of the carpets, like pass some sort of bill where they can remove most of the carpets because I guess the the rats chew on the carpets and they come after the the scent. So if they can replace them with it, tile is floors, that like is that like California does this shit? It's like. They have a problem, and they get the dumbest people that they could possibly gather yeah. up and say, hey, we have a rat problem. How do we solve it? How about we get rid of the carpets? They chew in the carpets. <laughs> yeah. Here's That's a good idea. Hey, let's Did you know- outlaw carpets. Mm-hmm. Did you know that 100% of people breathe oxygen yeah. and that <laughs> all people die? Right. Ban oxygen. Ban oxygen. <laughs> let's do it. It could be the problem. Let's this do is it. why people are we dying. We don't know. Have, yeah. you, have you seen what oxygen will do to like, or metal? My dream would be... That California finally gets its wish and they secede and become their own country. Mm. And then we engage in a hardcore bombing campaign on them. Mm. Uh, and then we take them back after right. they submit because they don't have a military at all. And they don't have an air force and they don't have armor and they don't have anything. That seems so, a little extreme. What? Yeah. What? A little Come bit, on. Yeah. I mean, all the cool people would roll over to Arizona and Texas. Probably. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, you we know? would we would allow a grace period of immigration, right? Yeah. Right. Right. And then, yeah. Okay. And then for no you reason, we, yeah. And we then bomb these bombing people. campaign, <laughs> and then we take it back. <laughs> what if we right. bombed them with glitter? <laughs> I, I think they, I think there might be an easier way on that. But yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You know, I think I think you could probably. I mean, if we out. took California's population down to sub million, you know, that wouldn't wouldn't be a bad thing. No, well, it's, it's weird because property it's, prices it's, would be cheap. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. you're, you're it's really a getting super place. Thanos over here. You <laughs> want to calm the fuck down? <laughs> super what? Thanos. Thanos. Yes, I'm not sorry about it. You're fucking mm. infinite. Who else do you want to kill, Jared? Who's on that list? California. Who else is Washington? Up there, <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> California, just the state of California. Jared's like. You know what? I don't like those guys. Yeah, let's just <laughs> let's just bomb it for a while. But there's so many great people in California. There are. That's why I'm saying I'm I'm giving a grace period for those people to move. <laughs> like you remember the, uh, like yeah. There was a senator, I believe. I it was a handful of years ago, but he got caught trafficking firearms. Yeah, Ken. Yeah, the Ken. dude that was <laughs> dude. And I in remember, San Francisco. Dude, yeah, it was Ken. I looked yeah. it up on my phone. I saw it in an article. I looked it up, and three, four days later, there was nothing else written about it. And until this day. I bring it up because he really was against firearms in California, yeah. and uh, he got caught trafficking. It wasn't himself. just that. He was, he was working with the triads. He was doing murder for yeah. hire, trafficking, all Insane. sorts of stuff. Insane, and yeah. he was always trying to uh, take away gun rights. I mean, yeah. California. Well, I mean, that's... It's like the people who protest about gay people so much are definitely gay. Lin- <laughs> Lindsey yeah. Graham, for example. <laughs> Senator Lindsey Graham Amen. from South Carolina loves wieners big time. All Why? I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is, if I was looking for a guy to decorate the White House, I'd go straight to Lindsey Graham. Yeah. I'd be like, if there's Come one on, guy, brother. there's one guy that knows how to <laughs> how to make this place look great. It's gonna be you, my friend. Oh man, <laughs> I like uh, Mitch McConnell's nickname. Everybody keeps calling him Cocaine Mitch. He looks like the, a turtle to Wait, me. Wait, can someone explain this learn to code thing to me? I don't understand it. You don't? No, I, I haven't read it. I just see it. I've only seen it. I've never read the story behind it. It started with, um, it was a campaign directed towards, I believe, the mining community in a debate that was like, well, we can, we can take people from the mining community that when mines are shut down, basically, and we can, they can go learn to code and basically... Take on a new profession. Uh, well, I get you know, it then now. it was like this backlash. So you're just going to take a bunch of 40 year old dudes and teach them how to make code, you know, and that turned into um, it turned into a statement basically for, I believe, the conservative portion of, of, you know, the active conservative portion of Twitter that was 
hey, just learn to code. And then they start targeting journalists yeah. and a bunch of other people, which is super gonna, funny, by the gonna way. You're going to lose your job. <laughs> it's you super funny. Learn you're going to lose, yeah, learn to code. And just, it happened, though, because didn't Huffington Post shut down? Well, there was like... There, there's <laughs> no, like, they're still alive. They're, oh, they're yeah. still who, alive. Who got shut down? Uh, because there was there, a big bu- one that got bu- shut down. BuzzFeed's were, on the were, way out. Vox is on the way out right now. Really? Yeah, BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed is on the way out. Yeah, they're, they're, and, they're, and they're having massive layoff, which goes back to my previous conversation, which is this is all about the clicks, yo. This is, yep. yeah, this is clickbait bullshit. It drives traffic. It creates engagement. And then the algorithms are basically driving this to Everyone be shared. and fighting all over yeah, those. And yeah. all this infighting is causing these these articles to be shared at a higher rate. Yeah. So engagement goes through the roof. Do, do you think there's any future in just uh, media alone without being productized? Because like, the newspapers went through it, television has gone through it, and now like digital news is going through it. So what's the next step? Well, I think the first step would be, one, freedom of information, right? Mm-hmm. And I think you, these platforms, and I think we probably... I don't know, did you guys listen to the, the Jack Dorsey episode on... Uh, Rogan, Not I yet. did, and he, um, he, you know, he got killed for that episode, Evan. Yeah, he got. Well, I mean, I've saw some of the fallout, especially he he he, did. he apologized Rogan. Joe Rogan and said I sh- I should have done a better job and and I should have been tougher on him. That was the only, so Rogan obviously is the biggest podcast in the world. Um, that episode was the most disliked episode he's ever done in the history of his show, which is about right. fourteen hundred shows. Yeah, wow, by his own fans, um, by the way. Yeah. You know, I think that there is, I, I, you know, I've got mixed reviews. I listened to the show. Um, I did you know, too. Of course, yeah. we probably we probably know more about social media than the average bear. Uh, we know more about the platforms than people. And I believe in freedom of information. I truly do. I think that you you should be able to say what you want outside of a few different places. You know, and, and when I say that, a few different positions, which is death threats, should get you banned from the platform. Yep. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but there has to be a coherent way in order to eliminate people from the platform. And they addressed it a little bit on the show. And then he since has addressed it on some of the other shows, which I think were good. I've also listened to a couple other podcasts, um, from, from different outlets out there that have addressed the same issue. I think the biggest problem that they have is one, they're not fact checking. So nobody trusts it. Right, so they don't trust the information that's coming out. There's yeah. this huge division, and, and you assumption. think that plays into the uh, psychology of someone that might make a purchase on an advertisement living there. Like, I don't trust this journalist, so I'm Correct. not going to trust this ad. Absolutely. I mean, this, yeah. there's got to be carried. Absolutely, over. I definitely think that. Just like a psychographic effect. Yeah, overall. I mean, uh, a good a good example is Infowars sells a ton of supplements, right? Because they trust that Alex Jones is putting out good information. Right. They they trust his information. <laughs> They trust what he's putting out as like the real news, basically, and so he's selling supplements through there. Um, now, is that is that my cup of tea? Well, not necessarily, right? But if you believe in someone and you believe in their information, you will be more prone to buy something that they're endorsing. That's yeah. that's a that's a fact. Uh, you know, I mean, well, because you grow so how respect. the fuck is CNN selling ad space then? Because they've had to retract so much shit over the last couple of years. It's, I mean, they it's, step on their dicks like every all the time, fucking three weeks. And it yeah. seems like when, when you get that big, I can understand local news places or smaller outlets and digital media sure. doing that. But CNN, who was the original fucking yeah. cable news show, right. like you can't, once you get that big, they, they could literally be a category of one if they wanted to. Right. But they're not. They were for a long time, but they're not now. Like well, MSNBC. It's, 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 well, it's crazy because Ross, you watch. Have you watched the uh, the nineties? No. Yeah, yeah, on yes. Netflix. And, and yeah, I, did, did you see how hard CNN went after the Clintons? They went oh, after yeah. everybody. I mean, they mm-hmm. were fucking brutal. I, I know. They, I know. If, I know if, they, the if they acted that, now Dan. like they did in the nineties, they would be. It would be uh, CNN would be Nike. Yeah. And Fox News and MSNBC would be Reebok and Adidas. I, I, I know be. the answer to this, Dan, yeah. by the way. So what happened was was Fox went hard right early 2000s. Mm-hmm. The ratings went through the roof. Yep. Uh, after that, CNN said, great, so we need to go hard left to service the other side of this. Mm-hmm. Um, so what happened was everybody started picking sides. MSNBC went left. Uh, CNN went left. E- even the New York Times. Once you know, print media is obviously dead, and once they have subscriptions... When Trump got elected, they were at 600,000 subscriptions. They're now over 2.8. You have to now serve. 
your right. fucking people it, the same way as a, a television show like friends you know no i get i get, I get the bifurcation of, in politics but you still have to be like alex jones is there's no one more to one side or the other than him he's crazy as shit oh, right yeah. so uh like just he puts out he's a performance artist he just goes wild and people like it so as long as his people trust what he's saying correct and that's that's the same way but it's the same with cnn so you know people who listen to cnn there's no way at this point unless there's a massive amount of cognitive dissonance they can believe the like there's any veracity in the claims right you're using your your brain to (laughs) definitive conclusions that's the problem is that i don't think that you're taking into consideration 300 million people in the united states and all of those people how they can actually how they consume news and then looking at the platform and saying most people just want to validate their their own ideas. That's what they want. They want reinforcement and validation in their own ideas. So when when you look at that, that's where you get you know Fox and you yeah. get CNN and and I think you really have. Yeah, but to have, Fox does it too on the same side as CNN. Oh yeah, like they've been yeah. they've been stepping on their dick just as much, and it's yeah. just like kind of like it's it's well, everybody it's opened. It's it's created an opening though. Somebody yeah. if Some, Netflix yeah. decided to fucking come up out with a non-biased news network, news? yeah, non biased news network, you would fucking kill. There's, They'll never I don't do think it there though, is because such thing. There, there, there is no such thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because because reporting is done by humans, and yeah. at the end of the day, and again, like you you're talked going about, to they biased. need clicks. They need yeah. all that to, they, well, keep to survive. How are yeah. you supposed to launch a news <clears throat> network? Not be biased. Not drive. When I say not drive clicks, because you're not doing clickbait headlines. You're going to launch a website that nobody comes to. That's yeah. that's truly what will happen. Well, back I, in the day, think Vice, back in the day, you only had to satisfy one hour a night. Correct. Yeah, like yeah. Cronkite could go on one hour a night and just say the news, and that mm-hmm. was it. That was you it. can't. You just can't do it anymore. There's no way. You got to make news up. Yeah. yeah. Well, well I, th- I, I think Vice used to do. I like their style of reporting, and I yeah. think when I'm using that as an example, I, I know that they have a bias too. As of you know, they do. It's it's it's. There's no question to it. I like longer forms of media that dive deeper into the topic that allow you to kind of sift through the obvious bias. But if you're only listening to your news in like 30 second sound bites, yeah. there's no way you can That's dive cliff, deeper into notes. it. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah, cliff notes. Yeah. And then it's biased cliff notes that are yeah. ultimately there to drive views or impressions. That's what it's there to do. So if you just know, well, that's not news. That's just Cliff Notes bias bullshit. That's all it is. It's yeah. clickbait. It's clickbait, yeah. right? I mean, but the thing is, is like I, there's I introduced him to this Facebook group I'm in recently, mm-hmm. and it's like the amount of people that buy into this yeah. clickbait and they take it as a hundred percent true, and they argue and it, they argue it they, but they, they have argue. nothing. Yeah. And the sources that they try to use yeah. aren't even sources. They're like, but this article said this, so and they get so that's angry. One article, it, right? bro. And really if you don't annoying. realize that this is all driven to get you to go to that article multiple times and get you to share, it's engineered to get you to mm-hmm. share yeah. and get you to argue about it on your page. So other people have to click in and look how you came to this stupid ass fucking opinion. I mean, how, how many people I see on a daily basis that post oh, man. Trump's finally getting impeached? I see it every day and they believe it. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, finally going to happen. Like, it's it's what? never, never like, going to happen. Or no. when they say like, oh, I bet you listen to, to CNN, don't you? As an insult or I bet you watch nothing but fun. And you're like, why is that an insult right now? I think like, it's I, just, you know what I want to see. I want to see Gonzo journalism. You yeah, know, you guys familiar with that? Nope. Absolutely. Like Hunter S. Thompson, yeah. he Hunter goes. S. Thompson, he goes to an event like the Mint Four Hundred, which is coming yeah. up yeah. soon, and just gets fucking wrecked. And he writes about his experience at the event. I think people would like that kind of stuff. I agree. Like, here's a list of the facts that, and Hunter would do this. Here's the things that actually happened in this event. Here are the winners. By the way. Drugs, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like here are all the drugs I did. And by the way, <laughs> drugs. drugs. I think that's there's, think a bunch of lizard, there's, a, that's, there's a bunch of lizard people here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Vice has tried it. By the way, so Vice is laying off a bunch of its its work staff, but they've tried yeah, that yeah. idea. Dan, they've got a show called Bong Appetit. Where yeah, they yeah. cook with all weed and then they it, all of its edibles. The people. I mean, are that, so this is what hot ones up. are, right? Yeah, the people are so fucked up though they can't even get through a whole show. I mean, it's well. <laughs> they, they, yeah, that's they hard need, to watch. My they, favorite. They was need that to get some show, professionals to do drugs. There was then. a show on TLC or the Science Channel for a while where they would have people do different drugs and then put together IKEA furniture. 
That's awesome. <laughs> it was fucking funny. That's awesome. Uh, like, here's here's somebody on cocaine putting together an ottoman. Oh, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Done. And then here's somebody on fucking LSD trying to put together a couch. I, <laughs> like, I can't do that shit so well. Refrigerator. On the floor. <laughs> refrigerator couch is work. fucking bolted to the goddamn wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case the room send off balance. So I put that couch on the wall. <laughs> I put the couch on the wall to balance the house. <laughs> you have a seat belt bolted to the floor, <laughs> sir. Uh, that didn't even come with this. You you cut the seatbelt out of your car <laughs> and bolt bring, it to the floor. They need to bring that show back. Oh, Very by the way, Ross, we found something the group of us need to do together. Uh oh. You remember? It's like soccer. Oh yeah. Yeah. But it's a giant inflatable ball and it's four versus four, and on your right hand you have a stun gun. Oh yeah. So you carry the ball and right. you gotta get it into a goal. It's like but everybody has a stun gun. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it was wow. fucking hilarious. I would yeah. legitimately like, play that. You can play like, it. You can play that. Get stunned right in the neck. And just you can, like, but you also up. like when you're the ball carrier, you have one too, so you can get the guy back. Like you can defend with your stun That's gun. Great. And you can play it on an indoor soccer field. So yeah. there's no reason we shouldn't be doing this. What do they call that? Long, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Arms. This is real. This long is arms real. are key. Shorter people are no, key. No, like so. 2012. Uh, Dave, could you search? Like it's like stun gun soccer. No stun gun. Handball yeah. or taser handball? Yeah, Gun-gun. because they they tried to start the league and it looked like it looked like it. Uh, they like started it and then it like is. Oh no! no there no. it is. Oh, uh, right there. Football yeah, there it is. using a stun gun. Yeah, UTB Ta- ultimate, ultimate tack ball. Tack ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a real thing. This, oh my god, dude! <laughs> do not try this dude, at home. Wait, these, these are dudes trained. Are these are trained like... professionals. How are you a trained professional <laughs> in tasing motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see that? He's just chasing the guy around. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, how fucking fun are there? Is, is there yeah, a lot? Dog. My favorite is the dudes that aren't even part of the fucking ball. And they're fucking hitting each other with the guns. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. That would, that would be me. This this is basically like being in a fucking team room because I don't know how many. I mean, have you ever been hit by a stun gun just sitting around minding your own yes, fucking business? Absolutely. They all have mohawks. Shocking. Yeah. Shocking. <laughs> They are Super missing shocking. teeth too. Yeah. <laughs> there are at least great. two guys in this video who are missing some teeth. Former yeah, meth great. addict, not scared to get tased. You know how much they used to get tased by the cops. That's literally what they're saying. They're like, to play this game, you yeah. gotta have balls. You, oh. <laughs> you think I'm scared so of you? Good. I used to get fucked by guys like you in prison. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, man. just the utter destruction. <laughs> All have tasers. Yeah, that guy's man. never smoked meth in his life. <laughs> that no. dude knows how to weld a muffler, though. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually on his... Or how his, to uh, siphon gas. That's on his profile. It's like hockey and soccer with... <laughs> with a taser. <laughs> with a with taser. A taser. <laughs> or a stun gun. What I other guess. sports would be cool with a taser? <laughs> All sports would Bowling. be better. <laughs> Bowling. Yeah. Golf. Every every sport would be better. Curling. <laughs> Golf would be great. That's Curling would actually name be a sport way more that wouldn't be better without a taser. They're wearing, Ross, they're wearing ski goggles, too. Like, this is our yeah. new charity challenge. This is the next charity oh, yeah. challenge. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. I've I've been hit with a taser a few times. Man, it's it's exciting. It's not fun. Um, and then it's not exciting. It's not fun. No, it's, it's not. not. Fun. Well, the thing is, is we got to go a little higher. You know, let's get the the, the highest level ones that'll make us crumble. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want. <laughs> no, I that. think fifty That's to like... seventy five thousand is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it yeah right like around that fifty range. Is your sweet no. Spot. <laughs> no, I want our heart to have to be jump started again. <laughs> you ever see that arm wrestling? It's arm wrestling, but you can punch the other guy. <laughs> what? That's the on fuck? the internet. I don't know what you have to Google, but I've seen it. Yeah, Dave, look at I've seen it. Uh, yeah. Guys are getting knocked the fuck out. That is dude. the craziest shit I've ever seen. The arm wrestling where you just get punched in the face repeatedly. Yeah, Ar- <laughs> extreme arm wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, dog. Oh, my God. Dave, Hi. can you cut to this? Are you cutting to this in the video? No. Oh. This is, oh, all right. All this right. is good, though. It's this is really, really good. good. It's, it's really violent where you're just like, holy we'll shit. We'll post the links to these in the in the yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. These it's are... insane. Dude, guys are going unconscious. Like, how? <laughs> <laughs> like, look, arm wrestling is so. Oh, oh there Jesus. it is. There it is. Oh, they're training, though. They're training. He's teaching them. Oh, yeah. How to well, get guys it. get knocked the fuck out doing this. Yeah, but this is uh, this. This gives you a different like uh, strategy. Do you go weak arm? To arm wrestle and yeah, definitely. Re- like, I do. I, you, you, I do. Yeah, I go left handed to, to arm wrestle. Wow. 
Why and wow. how this, would you change Why? Like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> they d- oh, oh, you're you fucking kicking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. Kick. Yeah. There's oh. kick. Oh. He just fucking oh. need that fucker in the what face. The Put fuck that in your meth pipe and smoke it. <laughs> 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 like, this is one of those why moments. I am a professional. Let me show you this. the tech. I am a... V- oh, oh okay. I am going to kick... While arm wrestling, I really like, want to know what the rules are or if there are any. <laughs> I think, dude, rally racing should be done like this. Yes, like you have to you have to drive while getting punched, <laughs> dude, and then you switch. I don't think that would be a, a, <laughs> there's, a sport. You there's can't also, drive a hundred miles an hour through a back road <laughs> while, <laughs> gravel street while getting punched. You're gonna you're gonna wrap it around a tree and. <laughs> That's why it's two funny. seconds. Wait, co- yeah, those UFC Baja creator. 5000 scroll, events are already enough. It, you've seen scroll, those. Where scroll the, down, Dave. It says a co, uh, the oh. co UFC creator who, who created is it? this. Really? Art Davey. Wow. Art Davey created this? What the fuck? <laughs> well, you've seen yeah. Rough and wow. Rowdy, Dan, haven't you? Neck arm. You ever see like the five on five MMA in Russia? Oh, yeah. As well? yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude. Same, same concept. We, we talked what about this doing? recently, but they have children that fight MMA over yeah. there. Yeah, like beat the fuck Dude, out of each I other. I lived in no Thailand gear. for six months, and I remember going to a show, the stadium, and I'm watching these like eight, nine year old kids go at it. Boom! Kid or kid gets head kicked, knocked completely unconscious. They drag him out of the <laughs> ring, and they're like, "All right, next fight." And everyone's like, "Yeah." So I'm like, <laughs> "What Christ. the fuck, dude?" <laughs> Let me ask you this: Did you ever get tricked in Thailand? You know, oh. you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, no, I'm sorry. No. I've actually got a, I've got a story. We we brought some girls back in oh, Thailand. Boy. Girls? Right. Girl hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So we bring these girls back, right? And in the morning, I will not say his name. Hopefully, if he watches this show, he will be laughing his ass off. But I used to contract in Afghanistan, so I worked with this guy. He's like, please come to Thailand with me. Anyways, there was a dude working for uh, Blackwater, and it was me and three other contractors. We got a two-story villa, living it the fuck up. Great. Next day, he shows me a picture on a camera. This is 2009, so different kinds of cameras. Not an iPhone. Not an iPhone. And he says, hey, man. What do you think of this picture? And I'm like, oh my God, that's a fucking man. But she's sitting on his lap. I don't want to burst his ego. So I say, I don't know, man. What? And he goes, don't fucking lie to me. And he zooms in. He goes, look at that fucking Adam's apple. Look at those hands, motherfucker. You want to lie to me? And I go, how did you find out? And he goes, oh, when I was fucking him in the ass. And he turns around and says, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And I'm like, Oh my god. <laughs> my my like one of my best friends is telling me he fucked a lady boy. So I'm quiet. I don't know how to like soak this in. Do I joke? Do I not? He hits the trash can button on the on the uh, digital camera. He hits delete and he de- he goes not a word governor, not a fucking <laughs> word. And he deletes it. Puts his camera down. I stay quiet. I look at him and he looks at me and he goes, "Fucking Thailand, bro." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh my." And I had to work with that guy over the next year. But he told me that when he found out that he freaked out, knocks on the other door to the other guy's room. Hey, they're guys. They're guys. They're like, you pay me now. You pay me. And they ran to the kitchen because we we're in like in a two-story villa, mm-hmm. grabbed kitchen knives. My buddies grabbed kitchen knives. And he's like, dude, it was fucking crazy. It was like a ladyboy horse standoff. We were lodging them out. Mm-hmm. And they were lodging back. And they dropped the knives. And they ran. And I'm looking at this guy. And I have to see him. At work, and I saw the Blackwater guy at work as well, and we would cross paths, and he would look at me, and he'd smile and be like, what's up, man? And he would, oh, man, it's just weird. Like, you know your friend. Did they have dicks? Man. Yeah, he said that they had cock and balls. Oh, no. <laughs> so, that would, that would yeah, haunt me. Like, if the dick yeah, and balls were yeah, gone, dog. and then I found out, yeah. I'd be like, all right. I, I, yeah. I kind of oh, didn't know. Man, I but, mean, if yeah. you find out late, you might as well try touching them. I, I did have sex with a female. <laughs> A female. Would you finish if it was if you found out midway well, was a hold dude? The f- <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. No. So there's this. <laughs> there's this. Uh, I was having sex with a Thai girl, and I'm looking at her, and she's whatever. She could not lubricate, right? She just was oh. like, I just have. So I'm like, Oh my god, are you lady? Bo-? And she got so pissed, starts beating the shit out of me. I am not lady boy. And I was like, Oh, thank God, I'm getting the shit beat out of me. I was like, Thank God, you're pissed and angry because for a second there, I thought you were a lady boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but those days are over. Yeah. Now I'm normal. And wow. have a normal job. Yeah. And you're, you're not normal, normal dude. Like, I'm very normal. No. Very I have a normal, normal job and I'm a normal motherfucker. Normal. So, yeah, yeah, very normal. Yeah. Very yeah. normal. Yeah, that's what I would yeah. say too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm normal. Yeah. No. no I, I, have I, a, I have a corporate job and, you know, mm-hmm. corporate, place ads. Yep. Corporate job. Yep. Corporate. Corp- typing. Yes. Emails. I type emails. You have an email. Yeah. You have an email address. You fax You have an email address with your real name. Yes, it is. It's my real You've got a facsimile that is in your room that you work yeah. on. <laughs> I have a normal Fax. job. Definitely don't masturbate in the restroom. So <laughs> I'm, normal, I'm a normal stand-up guy. Yeah. You know what I mean, Evan? I do. I do. I, I just like the fact like I'll walk into a room and Justin will stop talking. Although he has been talking for a long period of time. Like, yeah, so there I was, balls And now I know why. Mm. And now I know why. Welcome, wel- <laughs> welcome to my life, Evan. Yeah, I, you're, you're the type of guy that jacks off in the bathroom probably three times. And you can hear other people in the urinal. You know, you know, yeah. you know Who what jacks else off has, these days? There's, there's a flashlight. You know what so. else has bathrooms that you can jack off in is the Carnival Cruise. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh. Bringing it back. Yeah. yeah. Ah, the Cruise, the Drinking Bros Sea Legs. Ah. I kind of feel but like right we should now, bring this piece of shit along with us. You won't be having to jack off in the bathroom because currently it's outnumbered girls to guys. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's true. So odd. It's odd. Yeah, it is. It odd. That is it's very really odd. that more gr- I think I think the girls assumed that this was going to be guy heavy so they're like, "Oh, we got to go." I think and now the, they've outnumbered the guys. No, I right. think the guys are just idiots. <laughs> and the women are actually organized and yeah, figured shit that out. That's true. Already. It they, could be the fact that they also have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very well, very <laughs> normal jobs, you know. Normal jobs. <laughs> Sitting on a desk, you know, don't, or they're don't, like Matt Best is going. This is my chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I, I think that that could be it. Uh, well, if you want more details on the Drinking Bros Cruise, go to drinkingbros.com. Scroll mm. down on the homepage. There's a giant banner on there. You click there. All the details. All the details. Leaves port in September from Galveston, Texas for four days to Cozumel. It'll be a riot. Yes, By the way, if you, wanna, if you want to if you want to get off in Cozumel and go to the luau that one of our local DBs has planned, you need to get your passport updated. Don't be oh. a fucking if yeah. you want to get married on the cruise, you have to tell us ahead of time. Yep. Yeah, yeah we've got we two, couples, two, two couples. Two being so married. far. Yep. So if if you are planning on getting married and you want us to do is it. Is that anybody? So does that also cover like same sex marriages? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we do. Okay. Anybody. Right. We'll do anybody. It's international you, waters. Are you an ordained sure. minister? I got mar- mine online. Yeah, we all are. Yeah. Okay, awesome, man. We yeah, all yeah, are. Yeah. And if you want a divorce, uh, don't talk. Dan's doing it. Actually. Yeah, I'm Don't doing those. Yeah, it, it involves doing a, a fire act. I'm also so. doing the uh, abortions so. and a pistol. It involves Dan counseling your ex-wife uh, for a long period of time. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's the first that's <laughs> the phase. Rectal, rectal counseling. <laughs> rectal counseling. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's then not. he hits on her like, oh, no, so no, it didn't no, work no, out. No, no, I don't know why a divorce starts with a physical. That's the one well, thing I haven't figured out. You want to get the MGT, the mean giant temperature, because it comes into play later on. Yeah, yeah. If it's low, you know, she's not deserving of. Yeah, exactly. Of half. Yeah. Do you think Matt will play the pussy whistle song on the on the cruise? Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. We're well, going to have a piano up there, so it's going to get wild. I wonder if we can get Red Lobster catered so you can do your song, Ron. Yeah, look. <laughs> but between all of us, I mean, fuck, man. We've got a, a, a bunch of them. I love that Pussy Whistle song. Dude. I'm going to put it at the really end of good. this episode, actually. It's really, yeah, really it's good. fucking good. Would you say Matt Best makes your cock hum? Oh, yeah. Of course. He, no, makes wait. It, he makes everybody. He makes cunts hard is what he does. Yes. <laughs> if, if you didn't know, if you aren't on Facebook or Instagram or anything, Matt did release a new song for Valentine's Day called Whistle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's got about so a million views right now. It's it'll be at the yeah. end of this show. Yeah, it'll be at the end of the uh, show. Your, your ability to harmonize, Jared, is really top notch. I've never seen it's anything really like good. it. Thank you. It's really Thank good. You. I did it in one take. You did, and you told the guy to fuck off, too. You were just like, hey, bro, I got it. I, I'm a fucking professional. And then you went in and just drilled it in one take, and he was like, Jesus Christ, that fat one can really sing. He goes, that fat one can really are. sing. And I was like, yeah, yeah, he can. Yes. Uh, we, have a, we have a video actually coming out uh, probably next week of the making of the song. So oh. it's almost done. Nice. Oh, yeah. awesome. We've got the scenes. Yep, nice. yep, yep. Of the mm-hmm. making of the video and us tracking it in the studio. So you see kind of how it all came together while we were went from an idea in Matt's gym to actual reality. And there's some other videos coming out too, right, next week? Yeah, we've got the uh, Brosman Award video that kind of yep. gives a history of the Brosman uh, and things of that. And uh, yeah, that'll be the, nice. the other video. Out. Speaking of new shit, 
Poncho liner hoodie. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Did those poncho sell liner out? hoodie did those is out. Sell out, dude. I, I've been talking about uh, it on my did. show. <laughs> Have they sold out? They, they, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, they did. What, what about the Whoopi? Is the Whoopi sold out? Uh, I don't think the Whoopi sold out yet. I, the Whoopi's good. I think. Are you, there's a small medium, and we are getting another batch yeah. right now. Of They're in movies? route, so in route. just yeah. go in, plug your email in to the uh, blackrifflecoffee.com uh, poncho liner hoodie, and then yep. you can register your you email, really, and then yeah, we'll you really send you an email as soon as they get back in. And you if you really want, want 20% that. off, Drinking Bros 20 will do that for you. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think Drinkin it's time Bros for the Drinking Bro of the Week, isn't it? There, go for it. There we go. We got a lady. We got a lady this time. Uh, Lady. Tawny Burns. I like the name Tawny a lot. That's an old school 80s Daytona Beach name. I like Tawny Port. Uh, Says, up here in the PNW, we've been getting dumped on with snow a couple days ago. It was so bad that Cole Laswell was was out helping people get out and offering people rides. He came across a Bloodworks van, transport. Uh, that was transporting vital blood that was struck and was able to pull it out, but wasn't going to be able to make the trip from Bremerton area to Renton. So Cole offered Bremerton to give him... Bremerton to Renton. Yeah, that's a, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? Um, yeah, so Cole one. offered to drive them. I really think he deserves a shout out to be drinking bro of the week for spending time and money uh, in a way to save lives transporting blood. Uh, Hell yeah! Thank yeah, you man. so much. Thank That's you. That's a Tommy. positive one. It is it's a positive one. It is a positive one. Sometimes they're super dark, yeah. and you never yeah, know. Please. Not HIV positive. Please, please write in about people please. doing good stuff. You know, not all we. That we don't awesome. always want the ones that are memorials. Yeah, and like, although those are good. Yeah. And it's like it's Evan just, says, yeah. dude. I, the the news out there really isn't as fucking awful as people are telling you. So no. share more great stories mm-hmm. because we'll we'll be happy to share those on the show. Bill Hicks does a good bit about that in his 1992 release, this, and that tells you how long this stupid yeah. shit's been going on. Uh, he does; he's like, all I see in the news is war, fame, and death, AIDS, yeah. and he goes outside and it's like crickets. Like, where the fuck is all this <laughs> yeah, happening? Yeah. Where is this? <laughs> oh happening? my god! Uh, it'll be good happening news. on the Drinking Bros cruise on Drinking Bros. Yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna be. If you're looking war, for that, fame, cruise on up with us. We're AIDS. halfway sold out. Join us on the cruise. That'll be a blast. Today's show was a blast. For Disgusting Justin, uh, D'Anthony, <laughs> D'Anthony Holloway, Justin. Evan Evan Hafer, and Jared, have a fucking drink, Taylor. Uh, I'm Ross Patterson. <laughs> Good night, everyone.